Hey, Iron Mateys. Thought I'd catch you up a little bit on what's going on in Rock Hall. Well, actually, there's been quite a bit happening, and I think the most part, it's good for us boaters. You know, just the fact that there are eight marinas in Rock Hall. Uh, there's three in the main harbor, and then the others are on the Swan Creek side of things. Well, in my opinion, North Point Marina is the primary marina in the Rock Hall Harbor. They're the only marina with fuel in the harbor, and their fuel dock is well protected. They recently renovated the guest rooms, added some more pool furniture to their bayside pool. The ship store has several new wines and beer selections. It really got a good selection of items. And the Bayside Pavilion has gas grills for the slip holders and their guests. A Rock Hall Landing in the Mariner Motel was purchased by a company out of, uh, based out of New York. Uh, Haven Harbor South Marina and Boat Yard, well, they're continuing to do some work and upgrades. But on the Swan Creek side of things, the premier marina is Osprey Point with floating piers, a great pool and snack bar, plus a gourmet restaurant and country inn on site. The marina also has kayaks, uh, stand-up paddle boards, bicycles for the guests and slip holders, plenty of green space for relaxing uh, and picnics, modern clean bathrooms. It's really a nice facility. And on your way to Osprey Point is Gratitude Marina and Boat Yard. Now they've got a fuel pier that's easy access. Uh, and this is where I started my boating. Uh, the boat yard is great, plus they have several ABYC uh, certified technicians on staff. It's a nice location. Now, Harbor Shack, <laughs> always great food and a great time. Entertainment on weekends, always a great time and great food. I've uh, added several new menu items along with their signature items. It's a really popular restaurant here and, and waterfront. And then talking about waterfront restaurants is Waterman's, the only restaurant in town with steamed crabs. Uh, and there are other steam specialties too, plus other signature items, classic Eastern Shore dishes. They also have entertainment on the weekends. Oh, and they've got dockage for boats. I've seen 80 foot boats in there, maybe even bigger. And it's best to call for a slip reservation on the weekends because they are busy. Uh, Java Rock and Sweet Cheeks is still in Rock Hall. Oh, Pasta Plus is under new ownership. Uh, and they've expanded their menu and it includes pizza. There's another new restaurant coming soon, uh, the Blue Heron Oyster or something. I haven't met the owners yet, but stay tuned. I'll find out a little bit about that for you. And then um, Ace Hardware, they've expanded their fishing and marina section. Oh, and they have a new propane fill station, which is great for us boaters. I mean, it, sometimes you've got to go miles to fill your propane tank. Ace Hardware, right down the road here, fantastic. Oh, and another new shop though, that they were here last year, but really just kind of got started. The shops at the Bulkhead, there's the Blackfin, which is a beer, wine, and liquor shop. Uh, Eastern Shore Wreath is a gift shop and souvenir shop, along with home accessories. We were, in, we were in there the other day and man, some of the stuff they have is just incredible. Really nice pieces of artwork and a good selection of uh, liquor. Bayside Food has new owners and the new name's gonna be Bayside Market. And then of course, Smiling Jake's with Jack and Linda. Many new and exciting items. That's where I get a lot of these colorful shirts. Uh, Rock Hall Liquors has a new owner. So a lot has really been happening here in Rock Hall. You've got new businesses coming in. 
established businesses that are still here and some of the established businesses have new owners with new ideas and of course Rock Hall is easy, easy access to the bay North Point Marina when you come into the harbor first marina you come to again protected fuel pier and I really like the Bayside uh, Pavilion here for grilling. There's also a second pavilion over by the uh, boat shed and that's uh, a little bit more protected from the winds when the winds pick up a little bit. But overall Rock Hall should be on your to-do list for cruising this year. Hope to see you. Till next time guys, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.